Hi everyone, I'm Whitney, and as a registered dental hygienist, one of my main goals is to help people have healthy mouths. And for years, we've known that having healthy teeth and gums can lower your risk of things like heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, pneumonia, and other common health issues. But now you might have even more of an incentive to keep your mouth healthy, especially since we're still at the tail end of a hopefully dwindling pandemic. So it turns out that people with gum disease tend to have a worse time with severe COVID-19 infections. In fact, scientists have shown us that having unhealthy gums raises your chances of requiring a ventilator during a COVID-19 hospitalization. Although there are some theories as to why this happens, it all boils down to bacteria entering your lungs through your mouth. On top of that, you have similar mucosal tissues lining your mouth, nose, and upper airway. So when they're infected, they all respond fairly similarly. We know that the virus can wreak havoc on your respiratory tract and that COVID COVID can cause visible oral symptoms like ulcers, burning mouth syndrome, or a raw looking tongue. And when your mouth is infected with gum disease, your body and immune system were already working overtime to fight off the bacteria. As a result, your gums tend to become more inflamed and red because of all that blood flow to that area. So if you do become infected with the novel coronavirus, it's even easier for it to gain access to your bloodstream through your mouth. But if your mouth is healthy, you'll have zero inflammation, fewer bacteria, and a stronger immune system to ward off any infection, whether it's COVID-19 or something else. If you haven't been all that great about your dental hygiene, especially when you know you can cover up your smile right now with the mask, you're raising your chances of a serious respiratory infection from COVID-19. Those bacteria inside your mouth can go straight into your respiratory tract and lungs, which is why gum disease is also statistically linked to a higher chance of pneumonia. Thankfully, a little extra TLC each day can be enough to stand between you and the risk of gum disease. And with healthier gums comes a lower risk of serious COVID-19 side effects, not to mention a boost in your overall immunity. To prevent oral bacteria from accidentally being inhaled into your airway or transferred through your bloodstream, you have to thoroughly remove dental plaque from around each of your teeth at least twice a day. That means brushing a minimum of two minutes each day, especially along the gum line. If you have an electric toothbrush, even better. Just aim it where it's supposed to go and it will do the work for you. Make sure you're working your way around the entire outside of each tooth, then the inside, Again, focusing on the gums and then finishing up on the chewing surfaces. Do that twice a day. Then at least once a day, make sure you're cleaning between your teeth where the toothbrush doesn't reach. You can use whatever works for you, whether it's traditional floss, a water flosser, interdental brush, or something else. Just make sure you're using it every day. If you're unsure of the best tool to use between your teeth, your personal dental hygienist is the best person to ask regarding advice on your individual mouth. By physically disrupting the plaque on your teeth, you're preventing it from building up into larger bacterial colonies or even becoming calcified tartar, which causes gums to become diseased and detach from the roots of your teeth a bad situation if you're trying to avoid COVID-19 side effects. Now, if your gums are irritated or bleed, it's important to know that healthy gums should not bleed when you're brushing and flossing. If they do, it means your mouth isn't as healthy as it needs to be, which in turn, again, means you're at a higher risk of possible COVID-19 complications. The good news is that with a dedicated home care routine, you can usually reverse bleeding caused by gingivitis within two weeks. If symptoms persist longer than that, then you need to speak with your dental provider. In all, even though COVID-19 can impact just about anyone, we know that certain people are at higher risk for complications. And in the short amount of time that we've studied this virus, it hasn't taken long to figure out that people who have chronic gum disease could essentially be risking their life if they become exposed to COVID-19. If you already suspect that you have gum disease, as in maybe your gums are tender, bleed easily, or if you have a lot of tartar buildup, the best thing to do is to go ahead and schedule an appointment with your dentist's office. Even if you're not worried about catching COVID-19, active periodontal infections jeopardize the future of your smile and can inhibit your immune system in a number of different ways. Plan to see your dentist at least twice a year minimum to keep your mouth healthy and your overall body healthy. That's all for today. I hope to see you again next time. Until then, keep smiling.